Hi, I'm Nick. Welcome to Enterprise TV. I um, just want to take a second today to introduce you to new, two new products in the range. Um, both mini Tiger Nuts, but you've got a pop-up and a sinking version. Many people use Tiger Nuts as a little snowman, um, and often you need to sort of drill them out to add cork into them, to add buoyancy and things like that. The new mini Tiger Nuts are the perfect way to very quickly, very easy, and very realistically add a bit of buoyancy to a snowman presentation, or if you use them on their own, to use, uh, you know, make a very perfectly critically balanced hook bait, or the sinking one, obviously, to act very naturally as your free offerings do on the bottom over spod mix or hemp and corn, you know, a lot of the, uh, you know, the real delicate at presentations. So we're going to zoom in nice and close, show you a few rigs that we set them up on and, uh, and go from there. So what I wanted to do was show you some, probably the most uh, the most likely way that people will use the, uh, the pop-up mini tigers first and that's in a snowman presentation. So here I've got some real tigers um, and you'll notice if I open a packet of the pop-ups of the imitation ones, they come in a selection of different colours and tones. And that's because an awful lot of thought has gone in to you being able to match them to your free offerings. And obviously every tiger nut's slightly different. So you've got sort of yellowy, more pale ones, and you've got sort of all through the spectrum till you've got the very dark ones here. Um, the ones I'm using today, as you can see, are quite pale, um, and you'll notice that even on the imitation ones, you've got the little uh, sort of flecks which, uh, which sort of mimic the, uh, the hairs that you get on natural tiger nuts in a lot of cases. So because I'm using fairly yellowy, sort of bright coloured tigers at the moment, um, I'm going to match that to one of the uh, sort of the mid-toned ones, not the brightest but not the darkest. Let's put those to one side. So that's your imitation and on the needle is obviously your real one. So it's very simple, most people know how to do a snowman but I'll just show you anyway. So first of all I take my real tiger nut and thread it onto the hair. Here I've just got a size 7 stinger on a little jelly wire combi link which is a, a real simple but very effective way of fishing a, a, a tiger nut rig and then just thread the, uh, the real tiger on first. Following that I take my, my imitation tiger, they're really soft so very easy to play with, thread that onto the hair like so. So you've basically got a little stack there with your buoyant bait at the top and your uh, your real tiger at the bottom. Quickly slip a hair in and then just pull it tight. Because I've got quite a bit of buoyancy in this hook bait I'm going to put my sleeving instead of having it all the way down the bottom of the hook I'm going to have it exiting sort of two-thirds of the way down the shank which means that your hair is coming off at a slightly different angle as it would uh, often and that extra buoyancy just allows that that extra movement and that point of that hook to, to drop a little bit easier into the bottom lip and that is that you've got your mini tiger on the top your real one on the bottom and I'll just show you how that will sit on the bottom. Because of the buoyancy of the mini pop-up with a size 7 here, it basically sits exactly like that. The weight of the, uh, of the real tiger being slightly larger than the imitation one is just enough to drop the imitation bait and uh, it basically makes a perfectly critically balanced snowman there um, and means that your actual hook bait is very light and when a fish comes in and approaches that as soon as it sucks that up it comes up very very easily it's in the bottom lip and uh, hopefully there's another fish in the net another thing you could do is you don't always have to use it with a uh, with a tiger nut obviously um, fish love tiger nuts but they obviously like boilies and, and maize and everything else you know it's a perfect way of using a little cocktail type bait so if you're fishing over spod and you've got big pellets in that maybe in the spod mix a couple of tigers and a bit of maize you know a selection of different food sources then all you would need to do is swap your real tiger for for anything you want really um, you know a big bit of maize as I say or a sort of an 8 or 12 mil pellet something like that with your 
with your imitation tiger on the top and again you'll get your snowman presentation with a nice little cocktail um, style there you know just to throw them off a bit for wary fish another way of fishing it would be to fish one of the sinking and one of the floating ones together if you're fishing in France for example um, or uh, you know, or you've got a lot of nuisance species, and tiger nuts are fairly, uh, fairly tough anyway. Obviously, they won't take too much, um, you know, pressure from from poisson shad and crayfish and things like that. But just to be a hundred percent sure, your hook bait is always out there fishing exactly the way you want it. Why not use a floating po uh, mini pop up tiger and an imitation bottom bait tiger? They're obviously identical in size. And again, you'll get a real nice, critically balanced, very slow sinking hook bait. It will lay like that on the bottom, but because you've got that extra buoyancy there, it basically makes the hook weightless and it will fly into a fish's mouth incredibly easily. And when you see that with a few free offerings scattered around like they would be on the bottom if you use a PVA bag or something like that, you know, it's very difficult to tell the difference there between the real and the, uh, the imitation baits, like everything from Enterprise, there is actually an imitation one in there as well, which you would never have noticed. So if you're looking for uh, a way to fish tigers in a really delicate way, a nice small hook bait and very well balanced, then these new mini tigers are a fantastic way to do it.